I think we can uh, can both agree that it'll be Allison probably who will stay in goal. But well, I suppose actually there, there, there could be an argument for for someone else to come in. But do you reckon it probably is is the Brazilian in goal? Yeah, possibly. You don't really need to rest your goalkeepers, do you? He only tends to do that in the domestic cups. So you could make a case for Kelleher, but don't see any reason why Alisson wouldn't play. No, I think I'll uh, I'll go with with Alisson as well. No reason to to take him out. The the back four be a few more changes in there. I would imagine we don't quite know whether Joe Gomez is ready to play in this one or not. That'll kind of come down to the medical department. But I think it's pretty safe to say we know the left back is going to be Costas Simikas and probably the right back as well. Probably it's not going to be Trent Alexander Arnold. I wouldn't have thought it would be a, a change and Nico coming in there. But what do you think it, it might be at centre back? Do you think if Joe Gomez is fit, it, it will be him, or is that maybe too much of a risk? Yeah, well, well Klopp said today um, the players come back from injury, so that's Keaton Gomez. He said um, they're fit enough to play, but don't know how how many minutes they've got in the legs. If that makes sense. Yeah. So we don't expect either of them to start, to be honest, because as you said, they've, they've probably got less than 45 minutes in them and I'm not a fan of making changes before half-time. So um, I think the centre-back pairing might be stronger than you'd expect, you know, without looking at it the way we have there. Um, I imagine it'd be Canate. I think it might be Van Dijk, actually. Um, I think if it's Van Dijk or Matip, I think the worry is Matip is much more likely to break down than, than Van Dijk. So I think Liverpool will be fairly strong at the back, actually. Got, um, Nico Williams, as you say, and Costa Simakas was nailed on. And he, he was the player Liverpool put up today alongside Klopp. So that would be the, the back five for me. Yeah, I think I'd go with, with Matip over Van Dijk. I know, obviously, Van Dijk is, is slightly more reliable, but he's played quite a lot of, of football, really, probably a lot more than we all thought so far this season. So I'd be be taking the opportunity to to take him out. But I think Canate is, is pretty much a, a certainty. We'll move on to the midfield, which is slightly more interesting. James Milner is suspended, so he can't play. But I suppose he would have been one that would have had the, the opportunity to, to come in for this one had he not picked up that yellow card. Obviously, didn't fancy a, a trip over to Milan. <laughs> but um, I suppose Tyler Morton, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, probably two. But then it's 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 one more, isn't it? I'm not quite sure who that would be. Yeah, that, that's an interesting one, isn't it? It would have been Milner, but he's obviously spied himself a night off and picked up a, a cynical one against Porto with the old um, wily campaigner that he is. Um I can't see I can't see Dixon Bonner starting if Morton is. I think Morton is pretty certain to start, isn't he? Given he started against Porto and played really well to be fair to him. Snapped into tackles, crucial interception in the first half, and got Liverpool away for the second goal, didn't he? With the ball across to Salah and Henderson. So I think he'll play. Um and then Oxlade Chamberlain. And I think it might be Henderson. Yeah, it, it does feel like a bit of a risk if you put Fabinho in there, doesn't it? It's one of those. I think he might do that just because he's the only number six, really, isn't he? Obviously, Henderson can play there if you need him to, but it does feel like a, a little bit of an unnecessary one to, to put Fabinho in there, yeah. I suppose, for, for Henderson as well. But yeah, Fabinho, I think, I think I, I'd put money on it being Fabinho over Henderson just because of, of the minutes they've played. But I think, it, yeah, either way, it would seem a little bit of a risk. I think there might be a little bit of a risk as well in the front line in as much as Mohamed Salah, I think, will play. I think it'll be Minamino and Origi alongside him. But just from, from what Klopp said today, it, it did sound a little bit like he was gearing up to, to give Salah maybe an hour and, and then take him off. Yeah, I think there'll be a few kind of pre predetermined changes, won't there? Certainly around about the 55-minute marks, hour mark. Because um, they can make five changes, and I think that makes a massive difference, doesn't it, to... Yeah. The managers, I think Klopp said that a few times. I know Pep Guardiola is a big fan of it too, and just gives you the opportunity to rest a few legs. It's uh, difficult to keep up when you know there's ten substitutes made in a game, but I think ultimately, if players are getting staying fitter and not getting injured, then that's to be a good thing for the game. Um, so yeah, I think Salah out of the three, Jota and Mane, I think he would be the one who'd be getting started. And then um, Rigi down the middle and Minamino off the left. 
yeah, it's it's not a bad front three, that is it? It's certainly one that could get the result for Liverpool if they want to go for it. Again, it's a really tough one to sort of decide what the result might be, but we'll make our own guesses in terms of, of what it'll be. I'm probably going to go for a draw, I think. I think Liverpool know it. It doesn't particularly matter. Obviously, Salah will want to score, but Jurgen Klopp will have in the back of his mind that he's going to take him off at some point. Milan weren't particularly impressive at Anfield, but maybe at home they can offer a little bit more. So I think I'll go for maybe 1-1. One, one. What do you reckon it might be? Yeah, I mean, even just the fact that Liverpool are qualified, just subconsciously there's that kind of yeah. few percent drop-off, isn't there? Um, and Porto had chances actually a couple of weeks ago, but they're, they're not they're not great, are they? Liverpool did enough in the end, but I think this might be a little bit difficult, a diff- little bit more different in terms of it being the San Siro and Milan, you know, at home, even though it's not a vintage Milan side, I think Liverpool will do well to, to get a draw. Yeah, well, whatever the result is, Liverpool are through and it will, of course, be a great experience for the young players. Tyler Morton, I'm sure, will start and be a great one for him to be involved in. But I think that just about brings us to the end of the podcast. Thanks to Gorsty for joining me and for Guy for about five minutes until his internet (laughs) went off as well. We'll have all of the coverage of the game in all of the usual places. But until next time, it's goodbye for now.